Good morning, here's Alai Filinto. I'm here to show uh, the latest development I'm working on for the Blender, uh, thanks to Blender Foundation, which is FPS navigation camera. So Blender, we know we have the called the fly mode. So you press Shift F, can just go around and kind of fly through inside the scene. It's fine. It's actually quite cool if you wanna fly around the scene. But if you're if you're working on set design and have your levels, you might want something that uh, is more similar to the control you're gonna have inside your game. So let me show you the FPS navigation. It's the branch right now with I enable Ctrl Shift F. So here I'm looking around. You can walk. And as you can see, I can look up, but I'm always walking forward. I can walk sideways as well. It's a bit slow here because I'm, rec I'm recording, but uh, well, it's it's fast enough. Let's see, what else I can show? Oh, I can also go up and down. And same thing, I can be looking down, but uh, forward it's always going to the global forward forward direction. So always keep the same uh, level. And if I, if you can't, so it, oops, 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 you go back to the original camera position. And let's go here again. But I can also save here. There you go. And the, the cool thing about that, uh, that it's it's built on top of uh, Blender fly mode system. So if I take my camera and set the camera to always. Ta -ta to always a storage location you can actually save the animation timeline here here visual visual lock lock so if I go here and I'm walking it should be creating okay maybe it's not I never know how this works just a second maybe not Does it work? Ooh. Okay, something did work here after all. Just a second, just a second. Create keyframes, create keyframes. Okay. So I think if I do these and these at the same time, yep, yeah, there you go. So now I'm navigating, I'm walking around my scene, looking around, and as you can see on the bottom, it's all being recorded in the timeline. Again, it's probably a slow, bit slow here because of the recording, but overall, it's uh, it runs quite smooth. Ooh, I'm doing something bad. I'm actually I'm over the limit of the scene. Okay, so now I'm no longer moving my camera. Now I'm just playing back the animation, and it's all there. You can just use that for your your animation. So even for regular animation, if you want to animate the camera, as if you were inside the game, uh, you can do it without having to manually, yeah, manually uh, keyframe the, the camera path. Well, I think that's that's pretty much about it. And stop the animation here. So again, I first was first I'll show you that you can just walk around. The same thing as with the flying mode, but now we can walk around retaining the same eye level and at the same time without with no acceleration. So if I stop walking forward, the camera just stops. And I can also go up and down as it could to the, with the fly mode. And the other thing I was showing I show is the camera animation. Uh, that's about it. I hope you I hope you like it. Uh, this demo file is part of my my one of my book files, but it's no, no nothing related to my work. It's this book here, the game development with, with Blender. And if the branch is currently on GitHub, my Blender SVN repository, 
you can get there if you want to try it. Yeah, that's about it. Have a great day. Bye.